January 1982, the Commodore 64 was released. So what is it about the Commodore 64? Is it the games or the fact that it was one of the best personal computers? It's an 8-bit computer, so it has an 8-bit processor, 6 kilobytes of memory, and over 10,000 games and applications made for it. There's extras of a disk drive, a modem, dot matrix printer, and the Commodore mouse. Is it them which makes the Commodore so special? So good consoles and computers have got to have good applications and games. So a game like Mule, Rainbow Island, Leaderboard, Bomb Jack, Hit Stop, and Elite are just some of the many Commodore 64 games. You may remember these, you may have played them may think they're utter rubbish, but the Commodore 64 was way and well advanced for its time. Please stay tuned for the rest of this video where we will be reviewing the Commodore 64. See you in a minute. So here is what ports there is, there is controller port 1, controller port 2, an on off switch, you'll see here, you flick it, black switch, pretty basic, and the power switch. The controller ports are in the form of serial port, so that's what type of port it is. Around the other side, we have a rather large expansion port. We have an LH port, which I don't know what that's for. Maybe you can shed some light. An RF port, a video port, a serial port, a cassette port, and a user port. On a whole, the design of the Commodore 64 was pretty advanced for its time. It was pretty clunky, but it's simple, it's basic, it's usable, and it's ergonomic. What more could you ask from Commodore but an ergonomic, advanced, revolutionary machine? So as you see here, it is an odd shape for a computer, it's like some big clunky keyboard. The fountains and the vent is at the back with the power light. And there is like a sticker with 
Commodore 64 personal computer written on. The F keys are to the right and they are pretty clunky, as you can see. Following that, the spacebar is absolutely massive and so is the general keys. They are clunky, long and they do accumulate a lot of dust. So that is the design of the Commodore 64.